So there's a leaker that claims that a source at Nintendo in the marketing division gave him details of marketing budget and upcoming games for the Nintendo 3DS. And one of these games is the Pokemon 20th anniversary game codenamed Niji. And the Japanese translation for Niji is Rainbow. But before you start losing your mind, his source told him not to go too crazy with Pokemon Niji because it's a codename. And while it is a 20th anniversary Pokemon game on 3DS, codenames are rarely the final name. Which is true because a lot of companies use these codenames so that in case somebody finds out what they're working on, it throws them off. Which could completely be the case here. A lot of people use the word rainbow with Pokemon to describe a game that brings all the games together. All the regions at least, not all the games. I've heard theories about Pokemon Rainbow for ages. It's supposed to be a Pokemon game that's entirely complete. And the name comes from all the older Pokemon games. You know, Pokemon Rainbow is supposed to be like just the colors of the rainbow. You know how there was red, blue, yellow. This was supposed to be like so many colors in one game, kind of to describe how there's everything in one single game. So if they were to create a Pokemon game called Pokemon Rainbow now, it would literally have all the regions, or a lot of the regions anyway, and maybe you can catch all the Pokemon, all 720 something like, who's Majirna again? Like, what number is that? 722? We got 722 Pokemon? 722 Pokemon in one single Pokemon game. Now that makes sense, like, you know, being able to catch all the Pokemon, catch them all, the roots. Going back to that for the 20th anniversary, it makes total sense. What doesn't make sense though is the name, because we've gone past basic colors. We got X and Y, black and white, we have all these other games, and Rainbow just wouldn't make sense at this point, you know? So I wouldn't get my hopes up about a Pokemon game that has everything in it, called Pokemon Rainbow. That's such like an old theory, that's like a myth. It's more likely that the Pokemon company and Game Freak gave this Pokemon game the codename Rainbow to throw everybody off because they knew that somebody was going to leak the information. I mean, it's one of the biggest projects that they've been working on. You know, according to the president, it's one like it's a big project. So obviously they want to keep it under wraps. And seeing as how this is the 20th anniversary game, it's obviously huge and many people are trying to get information on it. So they gave this codename Rainbow to throw everybody off. I mean, at least that's my theory, but it could be that this is the Pokemon Rainbow that people have been talking about for ages now. But like I said, it's a lot more likely that it's not and it's just a follow up to X and Y or it's just something insane that also serves as a follow up to X and Y, if that makes any sense. The leaker also put this game under the fall and holiday season. So we're going to receive this game around the same time that we got X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, if this list is to be believed. And the craziest thing is, the leaker has actually verified his source, which makes all of this even more likely. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below, make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.